First off, <coughs> can I jump higher off of two feet or one? Depends. Depends. Perfect. Right? If you have more than three steps, I can jump higher off of one. We know this. Re this is actually one of the few things that's been studying research. So it makes perfect sense because I have momentum. Right? And so if, if I can't, right, I'm going to have to jump off of two. So for sure, the timing piece is, is, is important. I think for, for me, one of the things that I always had goalkeepers to struggle with was, you know, obviously the, the cross would be getting ready to be taken. Everybody has not had a got to go, got to go, got to go. So they would start to go early, and then it would go beyond them. Right? So I always taught, you know, as it's coming, what I want you to do is, as the ball is being struck, I just want you to take that little bit of a hop as they strike it. Because now, that's delayed my response time. Because now, I have that little bit of time where I can't move because I'm in the air to actually assess the ball. So just kind of a little kind of trick. Because obviously here, I'm not worried as much about my time to react. It's not a shot. Right? So that was one little thing that I would do to try and get them away from taking that step. For sure, if I get there, there's going to be times where if it's crowded, I may get there early and need to get there early to claim my space and then I'm forced to go straight up or everybody's coming on top of me. Now I'm stuck and I have to jump off of two. Right? And that's one of the reasons why I was showing these different, these different actions. Right? And the footwork's going to be different. Kind of my near post, right? Paul played in my near post. What can I do? Tons of momentum, tons of speed. I can come up and claim. Right? When it's played centrally, a little different in terms of my footwork. Right? So maybe I have to come here, which is more direct. Maybe my last step now serves to turn my body so I can, I can basically get the surface I want. Right? Footwork to the back post, very different. Right? I have a great story about the footwork to the back post, about different methodology. So one of the things I did a long time ago, I went to England to do my goalkeeping licenses. Right? And I had my session. My session was crossing. Right? So it was, I, think, I can't remember exactly what the topic was, but it had to do with crossing. So guy gets the ball, plays it into the back post. Right? And the guy goes running after it. He's like this, from backwards, and he goes, goes up and did, did nowhere near it. Right? So I stop it. I said, all right, you know, you know it's kind of your back post. As soon as you see it, crossover step. And there's an audible gasp when I say crossover step. And I looked around, and I was like, what? You know, and, and the instructor was like, stop. He's like, he's right, you know? Because it, it got me American. I'm the only American on the course, right? And they were like, you, you never, oh. And you could hear the guys, you never want to cross over step. I was like, you have to cross over step. You know, and it was, it was pretty, it, was, it led to a really interesting dialogue of, you know, you have to get there. I can't get there running backwards, right? You have to get there by, by basically, basically sprinting, right? And so ultimately, if you go back to, I mean, honestly, I looked at it and I'm like, if I can't go like this, track the ball, get myself turned around, what the hell am I doing in goal? So I'm certainly not athletic enough to be a goalkeeper, you know? So it was, it was, it was interesting. So developing all these footwork patterns is, is huge. Recognizing now, when can I go off of one foot? When can I go off of two feet, right? And it goes back to one's plyometric, one's more concentric, right? Because I don't have the momentum, I have to have the ability to generate that power, right? That's, that's important in terms of just the muscle shortening, right? So that was exactly what kind of my goal was here, showing you guys different scenarios, 